Hello everybody, this is Quick Smoke with a brand new series that is coming to the channel. Uh, I've had a few friends and a few people ask me, hey, how did you do that when you were building on 76? Or they'd say, you know what, I don't understand building in 76, it completely sucks. Or... Uh, I'm having a trouble with this. How I don't know what to do, and they do something odd. So I am here to lighten up, or um, I don't know how what to say, to show you that in '76 it's a little different than Fallout 4, but it is still good building. Okay, and I'm going to rate these videos probably in three ratings from one being intermediate to two being oh my god, this is going to take me a few minutes to get. But hopefully, I can explain it to you good enough where you're not going to say, oh my god, I need it's going to take me a few minutes to get this. So, we're going to start off with the very basics, okay, um, in this video. Uh, show you a couple things. I don't want to keep this video going for a long time. So Here it is Building in 76 101 the very first in One rule that you gotta understand and know a lot is build order build order build order Everything depends on build order Okay, if something will not snap into place, remove a couple things. Check to see if it's the build order. Okay, so let's let's get into simple things here. Okay, so you uh, place you got you want to make a bathroom. Okay, we're gonna call this the bathroom. This little area right here. All right, and you go to put a wall in. And it's turned around. You're like, what the fuck? You lift up. You turn it around to the right way. And it still goes back the same way. Best solution is... Take a step backwards. See how it flipped around? Right, that's all you gotta do. Just take a step backwards. Or sometimes, take a step forwards. It all depends. It's very simple. The Bethesda devs have made this a little bit more complicated than it needed to be. But there are workarounds for mostly everything. Okay? So, again, if your wall is like this, and no matter what you do, you can't get it to go in its right space, take a step back while it's in its place and... Voila. You have the walls going the right way. But now, you're thinking to yourself, Oh shit. I didn't want to put that type of wall there. Well, one of the good things that the devs have done with this is that you can replace a wall. You simply go up to it, and you see in the bottom of my screen there, it says store, scrap, or replace. So you're going to hit that button, and then see what it says. Right in the middle there, scrap, store, replace, or cancel. We're going to hit replace. And now we can change it to one of these walls. We can change it to one of these walls. We can change it to one of these walls. You can change it to almost anything you want. Okay? But, there are certain walls that you have to do a certain order in order to replace them okay for example I don't know if they fixed this yet we're gonna find out right here say I put this wall here okay I don't like the way that looks but I don't want to use the materials to scrap it because you lose materials when you scrap something you've built but I wanted something different now I'm going to hit the store replace scrap, I'm going to try to replace it, and look, I only have one option there. So what am I going to do? 
Well, I'm going to turn it to a flat wall. And I'm going to turn it to a flat wall. Then I'm going to hit store scrap and replace again. Replace. And now I can change it to any wall I'd like. Okay. The second wall that I believe is like that. Oops. Is the wood the wood walls if you have them. And that would be these walls right here. Okay. If you go to... Uh, let's make that actually a doorway. No, it looks like they fixed it. Yep, they fixed it. All right. So now we're going to leave that like that. And we're going to come to the second part of where people sometimes have a hard time from. And actually, you know what? We're going to take this out. And we're going to put... Oops, wrong button. We're going to put the same wall back. Okay. And that, yeah, and we're going to leave it like that. Okay. So... Well, let's go and do a second floor. So in order to do a second floor, we need a set of stairs. And we're going to use these ones. Alright, and we want them right there okay now we want to put a floor here let's go to our floors let's pick the right one hey now hey now why won't you see it's not going to it's not going to clip intersects with an existing object okay sometimes okay if you look in the bottom and you go like this and you go to put a floor in let's bring it a little closer drop it down still not going in why is that well because Okay, if you look right here, you see the bottom of the stairs? It's lower than that wall. So what's going to happen is this wall is blocking that floor. So you're going to have to remove this floor because remember, number one rule is build order, build order, build order. And then, boom. The floor, it goes right in. And then you can just put your wall right back as you want it. Okay? And see how it's... Sometimes you have to remember step back. Let's make it this wall. It'll be a little easier. S step back. Step back. Of course, it's going to make me a liar today. Okay, so we come back to the original problem that you cannot put that wall in the right way. You can't step back. Stepping back don't do it. Pushing forward don't do it. Deleting the floors don't do it. What is the problem? Well, the problem is, is actually the type of stairs you got. So you gotta take the stairs and you gotta replace them with something a little skinnier. Like these. So then we're gonna put the wall back in place. Step back. And boom, there you go. And then we can just put the stairs with that replace function right back to the way we wanted it. Okay, and again, if you wanted this to be a doorway because you wanted to make that a bathroom, there you go. Now it's a doorway. And the best thing about this is that because you've already snapped this floor here, oh, which really works shitty, with these stairs 
good to know. You can continue on doing the flooring the way you want. Because the floors will snap through the walls. Okay. Now, another thing that I see people doing, okay, is that they want to get rid of that second floor. So they're automatically going to come here. Wait a minute. I cannot delete the floor, the stairs. Why? Because of build order. You can't just automatically delete this floor either. Because it supports this floor, this floor, this floor, and this floor. So you gotta take it. You gotta delete that floor, that floor, that floor, that floor, and then you can delete as you fall down or miss the stairs that floor. And then you can delete that. Okay, the second thing I'm going to show you, or the third, is that if you want to make interior walls, and it used to be that, um, and you want to be able to wallpaper both sides without having, let's see here, let's try it on, a basic one, okay? You want to be able to wallpaper both sides because this is an interior door. Now, it used to be that you would take just a simple doorway, okay, and just turn it around. Well, unfortunately, the devs thought they would be able to take the fun away and stop you from doing that. So now, the only one that I've noticed that it works on, okay, is this one right here. Okay, and this is the uh, traditional house, the regular house. You could just, you have to have two floors next to each other to be able to do that. Like, I can't do it right here and then turn around and snap it there needs to be another floor floor wrong button another floor right here before I can snap another floor another door like that so if you don't have those, okay, sometimes it used to work with the barns, but I believe they fixed the barn doors. So uh, you can't do it anymore with the barn doors. Let's flip it. Oh, it does. It still it works with the barn doors as well. Okay, and before you can do this, uh, you, you gotta make sure that you have no, um, no floor, no top floors. So if you want to do this, you, you gotta, you, you, you gotta get your, your floor plan laid out. So now, let's just wallpaper it. There. And there. And then, the great thing about it is, if you want to just turn this into a regular wall, you got to hit the store button, replace, and boom. Right on the other side as well, you have yourself a double interior wall. Okay, so no more having one wall like this and then having another wall red on the inside like that. You can have all colored one wall. Alright, let's see. We're gonna 
keep this video short and let's go to wiring okay uh, this is gonna be a quick one for wiring say you have a pretty big sense of area because sometimes 76 gives you a really good build area and you want to wire the whole place without having to do 15 uh, generators I'm going to show you how to do it with just one and I'm going to show you how to do it a couple of ways okay so we have here our one generator I'm going to use this one it's my favorite because it's quiet okay and then we're going to put a wall up We're going to put a wall right here. Okay. And then we're going to say right over here, let's find something that needs electricity. Well, we're going to put, okay, well, you know what? We'll put a foundation down right here. And another wall like so. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can do this, okay? And actually, you know what? What else we're gonna put there is let's see, something that needs to be powered. Um, this, okay? Uh, so one of the things you can do is you can you take your generator your connector your power connectors right you put one here and you put one here now if you know from any fallout you can only go so far with your connectors before they won't connect so one of the things you could do is okay let's connect that up all right and just to show you that it, it works let's put a wall light there okay and we'll put a wall light here all right if you all remember actually you know what we're going to do is we're actually going to put another We're gonna put another wall through here. Okay. Now, if you remember correctly, in Fallout 4, you could look at the wire, hit triangle, and you could run that wire wherever you want. They got rid of that. There's two ways to do this, okay? If you don't want your wire to be seen as much, you go to your floor decorations, or floor decor okay and you put something on the ground that um, can be easily moved you can you can use this uh, you can use a little rug anything with a flat surface I like to use the, the rugs okay so then once you get that rug down you want to go back to your power connections okay you could use any power connection for this that doesn't go on a wall okay so if you wanted to do the on off switch oops um, just a regular power connector just put it right on the middle of the rug this is the new rug glitch okay so you take it you connect it actually you know what even better oops scrap that we're going to connect it to this wall because we know that it won't reach too far so then all you gotta do is take the rug all right highlight the rug grab it once let go grab it again let go and then just take the rug you put it wherever you want and it is still connected or should be at least 
unless the devs fix it. The motherfuckers fixed it. Let's try this again. There we go. You gotta move it. You gotta move it. You can't just pick it up and let it go. You gotta move it. That's right. So now we're gonna bring it all the way back over here. And it is still connected. And then just connect your wire and look at that. Viola, the wire is gone. But it's still here. But it works over here. Okay. You can also do this with wall connections. Okay. So we're going to take, go to wall decor, which is a little bit past. And you're going to find a flat sign. Okay. Something that you don't mind covering up, like this notice sign. And we're going to put another power connector on it for the wall. Right in the middle. Okay. We're going to connect the wire. And actually, we're going to delete. Just so we know it works, we're going to get rid of that. Okay. Now, same premise as the rug. You're going to take it, you're going to move it, you're going to let it go. You're going to take it, you're going to move it back, you're going to let it go. Then you're going to take it and bring it right to where you want to bring it. Right there, and boom. You got to take in mind, though, that the wire is going to dip. So you can use, if you're going to do that, do it in spots where you don't mind the wire going to it. All right. I think that is going to be it for now. I hope that these few small tips helped you out. I will be back hopefully next week with another tip video on uh, level one build tips. Uh, if you have any questions or any uh, requests on build tips, uh, leave them in the uh, description and by the way uh, I by no means accept the credibility for discovering these I did not discover these I learned these from watching other people and other videos I'm just bringing them to you through my channel uh, so I do not accept any acknowledgement of or, or any credibility of discovering these because these are discovered way before I started building or learned these. I learned these from other YouTube viewers. So that being said, I hope this helped you out. I hope you like this. If you do like this, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good night, my friends.